drinking my coffee, which is now frozen because I've been trying to do this forever, and it's downpouring rain, so my power might cut off mid-recording. Who knows, because I certainly don't. But as I'm sure you can tell by the title, and by the thumbnail, no doubt, or to the lovely people who just saw that I uploaded and clicked play, thank you. But I'm going to be showing you what I believe to be the top five worst maps in Phantom Forces. I'm also going to give you a bonus map at the end. So keep in mind, this is my personal opinion. I understand that every, probably every map on here is probably going to have their person who's like, Dude, I made that map. That's like the best map in the game. So please try and refrain yourself. Everything is going to be okay. We're going to start off here with one that you could probably already tell because I'm currently playing it. Rig. So so I think, in my opinion, Rig is not really a terrible map. This is probably the least worst on the list because it's a smaller CQC map, there's a lot of verticality to it, and it plays okay, but a lot of the issues come whenever Phantom Force's movement is just kind of awkward, and considering that everything is something to vault over in this map, it can make it very, very tedious trying to go around and normally just play the map. Rooms like this, this is great, there's like nothing in here but a little table, so there's plenty of room to run and jump around and you just have windows to fly out of. But then you got rooms like this where everything, you just gotta jump around and it's just, it, it's just annoying. That combined with the fact that while it is still a small CQC map, it's still pretty big. There's so many layers to it, there's so many underground bits, and at least in my personal experience, I do have trouble finding people a lot. I know there's plenty of people who love Rig, and it's an okay map, it's just it's just that it's not my favorite, so that's why I'm putting it at the top of the list here. The least worst of the ones that I don't like, basically. Next here on the list, in the number four place, we have Height. Height is one of the newer maps, I think it came out in the most recent update, or maybe one prior to that, I'm not really 100% sure on that, but it is definitely a more recent map. This one is also kind of okay, because I like the idea of one side on one side, I guess, and then another side on the other side. Think of it kind of like two fort from Team Fortress 2, if you're familiar with that. Don't know why I have this F-22 equipped, but okay, whatever. I think that this map, though, also kind of suffers from part of the reason that I don't like Rig too much, and that's the fact that despite the fact that it's a fairly CQC map, like so far I've seen just freaking people everywhere, don't know why the spawns are like this, it's still a pretty big map, because while you have great sniping stuff like this, there's so many spawns where people just show up behind you, show up around you, spawn in front of you, and that also kind of suffers from what Rig has as well, where it's like, there's just stuff everywhere. So many different things to vault over, and it's, it's not even really stuff that acts as cover, because this game, everybody just jumps all over the place. If Phantom Forces was a little bit slower, I would say that this cover system kind of middle bit here, and like all around the map, is decent, but the way that Phantom Forces is kind of meant to be played, I guess, or at least as most people play it, it's not really conducive to just kind of sitting down and hiding behind cover. And for a map like this, that seems like that's what the whole intention is. Unfortunately though, a single newer map is not going to change the entire playstyle of a game that's been out for the better part of about six years. <laughs> even though you're constantly constantly running into people, it's not really good interactions because, like I said, they're just everywhere. Maybe that's good for some people, but it's definitely not really good for players who aren't as good or for players who are newer to the game. Because yes, believe it or not, there still are new people who come to this game. I don't know if anybody's really going to get mad about this one. Probably some people will because it's a bit of a tried and true classic, or former, I should say. But number three, I'm going to go with Dunes. The reason that I'm going to put Dunes here is because the meta for this map has shifted completely since the game came out. I'm pretty sure that this is one of the OG maps for this game because this is one of the first maps, if not the first map that I ever played. But the meta, like I said, is completely different than it used to be. But with the way that the spawns are set up in this map, it's either you're being spawn camped the entire match or you're spawn camping the entire match. There's no in between. Ooh, those guys just lined up for me. Okay. But yeah, no, it looks like we're basically kind of spawn trapping them down there for the most part right now. <laughs> exactly what I mean. I just joined a random server out of the server list. And this is exactly what we get. So you're either being spawn trapped at the gas station or spawn trapped on this side of the map over here. And that just really kind of ruins the fun for me. I remember a day where everybody would be fighting down here constantly. Even though this is King of the Hill. I have a handful of teammates down here, but nobody's really trying to get over here. Probably because they're all being spawn trapped, of course. But I don't know. It just used to be different. Okay, I'm on a private server here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So this used to be kind of the hub of dunes, I guess so to speak. Everybody would always be fighting down here from one side or the other, people would be chucking grenades down here constantly, the corners would be covered in people with shotguns, but now it's all just who can spawn camp the other team first. Even on modes like King of the Hill, people rarely go down here, and usually the only people who do are the side that's spawn camping the other, and then they could just camp there, since the other team can't even get out of their spawn, and it's just, oh, uh, it's just sad. Dunes ain't what it used to be, man. Overall, I do think that this map could use a revamp, and I do think that the spawns are just horrible. Those need to be tweaked in some capacity. Number four on the list here is Laboratory. I'm going to join a server here in a second, but I just want to show you there's only one page of servers. Even for a map like Dunes that's so spawn camp heavy, there's at least two pages. So that just kind of goes to show you how little people really enjoy this map. Laboratory, I just think, is a gross map. No hate to the people who made it. They're very competent map designers, clearly. It's made well. It's just the layout is goofy. 
The overuse of the white is just kind of just not good. It's just such a bright and contrasty map. It's just kind of gross to look at. Much like Rig as well, while CQC, it's still a pretty big map. The only somewhat middle area that I could say where people kind of mostly come together is this area right here. But even still, so few people actually come out here that you really do have to go searching for people. And since it's a decently sized CQC map, you're going to be looking through every single corner and every single crevice trying to find people. And honestly, man, whenever I boot up Phantom Forces, besides recording videos, I just want to get a handful of kills and then go to bed. Is that so much to ask? All right, this is the final one here, probably the least populated map in the entirety of Phantom Forces industry. One page, just a handful of servers. I'm literally dreading playing this map. I hate this map so much. Two requests that I've said in the past that I really want for Phantom Forces maps are really big open maps and really small CQC maps. This is the opposite of both. So this has tons of spawn camping, as I'm sure that you could see right away. That's strike one. Strike two, while massive, this thing just has nothing really of substance anywhere. It's all just like clutter and these weird like half open areas like this right here, but nobody's ever in this middle area. We have nearly a full server here and there's like two dudes out here. I don't know how I'm not killing him. Uh... And oh man, you thought the white balance on the last map was bad? Well, maybe not you, but I did. Look at how bright all this is. It's just all so overbearing. It used to be worse though. I think that they may have changed it because this used to be literally unbearable. This room in here in particular. Like, I mean, just look at all this bright. Like if, I, if, I, if I'm holding like this angle right here, for instance, my left eye is screaming and my right eye is just burning. You know, here we go. Here's another great example. Look at how bright all this is. This It's just completely unnecessary. But like, it's just, it's all just so bright and the layout's just not, great. And there's, again, too many CQC aspects on such a big map. I hate to be so repetitive about that, but that's like the biggest qualms that I have with these maps. They're too big and try too hard to be CQC whenever the overall layout of the map is just not conducive to that. All right. I think I said earlier that I'm going to have a bonus map at the end. If I didn't, I'm sorry. I'm saying it now. I have the screen blacked out though, because I just want to say before I show you what map I'm playing, this is my opinion. I do not hate this map. I actually kind of like this map, but it's just, I have mixed feelings about it. Are you ready to see what map it is? Yep. My my bonus map here is going to be Suburbia. I can hear the screams and the cries in the comment section. I love Suburbia. It's my favorite map ever. You're so horrible. I hate you. I don't hate Suburbia. I like Suburbia. This is an example of a map with good size that has good CQC elements and it's laid out pretty decent. But there's just something that I don't like about it and I can't tell what it is. I just don't really enjoy this map as much as I once did. What I can say though is I used to play a lot of Phantom Forces with controller. I never played it on Xbox or anything. I just have a controller and I used to like to play this on that. I'd love to camp on either that roof there or that roof there. And it is just, it was just great. It was a great time. But be it a difference in my current play style or just my interest as a whole with this map or with this game rather. I don't know. I, I just can't find myself enjoying this map as much as I used to. So that's why it's a bonus map. It's not really a bad map. I just personally do not like it as much as I used to. That's basically all. So you can put down the pitchforks. It's going to be okay. For the meantime though, I'm going to keep sticking with my Desert Storm and Bazaar. As much as I really do not like desert maps, these both have really good layouts. I mean, obviously Bazaar does at the very least. That's literally just Dust 2 and Dust 1 combined from CSGO. But they're big open maps with their little small handfuls of CQC elements throughout the map. Plenty of sniping positions, plenty of SMG positions. It's just very, very well balanced. And they've been around forever. They're just, they're just good maps, objectively. I know this is a bit more of a talking head video as opposed to just normal kind of funny, goofy, haha, -ha, whatever. Or like a challenge video or whatever. But considering that Phantom Forces really can't add too much more content given the type of game that it is. A lot of the more recent maps have really not been too good and I literally... You can go through the, uh, what is it called? The server browser, and you can literally see that people are still playing more classic maps like Desert Storm. I do like the simplicity of the map, so I can't really say that they should revamp all the maps and make them like super high detail or whatever. I don't think anybody would appreciate that, really. I don't know. This, this is just my opinion, so whatever. Also, uh, Blizzard, uh, Blizzard's okay, but I like the environment, but uh, eh, it's okay. It's like a low budget, snowy Desert Storm, kind of. But yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, if you stuck to the end, especially, because uh, this is probably a pretty boring video, but it's just something that I felt like talking about. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you're new and turn on channel notifications so you get notified of all new videos. If you have any other video ideas, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys later. Stay safe and peace. Uh -oh, uh -oh. Oh. oh yeah, it's a night shark. Oh. 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 Steven, S break something. <laughs>